Hey everyone, Dolph Zeef here with 4143 Mars Wars, winners of the Central Illinois and St. Louis Regionals this season. Here to check out their amazing robot. We have Andrew, Jack, Josh, and William who's gonna be operating the robot here to talk us through their amazing robot, dual ground pickup, amazing arm, passive rollers, and we're gonna be walking through the robot here on behind the bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University has over 25 pre-college camps and learning experiences available from computer science and engineering to inspiring future women engineers, leadership development, and first base camps for first graders to graduating high school seniors. Magna and GM sponsor camp fee scholarships are available. Email ctaylor at kettering.edu for more information. Jack, let's start off with you. Talk to me about your drive system. It seems like you guys are using Swerve. What spe specialties do you guys have in your chassis? What, talk me through that. Um, so today, or this year, we actually went with the MK4Is. Um, we've been traditionally known for working on our diff, diff swerves. Um, we strayed away from those for one year just so we can kind of get our robot up and functioning faster um, and to get, take a year to kind of rework it and revamp the power draw. Because last year we were having problems where we draw too much power. So this year we just stayed with the standard MK4Is uh, and they've been serving us pretty well this year. That's really nice to see that you guys are transitioning and seeing other options that are there. Now let's hand off to Andrew quick and talk to me about your ground pickup. You guys have, seems like, two ground pickups, so talk to me through that process. Okay, so at the start of the season we had a big chunky ground pickup. It was supposed to do it all, had an indexer uh, attached to it, but we scrapped it after our last regional. We started over, we landed with this Q pickup, or cone pickup. It's got passive rollers, two Neos that power it, and it's timed by the shaft. It's driven by the Neo right here. So, uh, Josh, you want to yeah. show it? Here. And then from there, we go to score. Since we had five weeks between our last regional and uh, this champ uh, competition, we took a week to look at robots, try to figure out what we were going to do. And we saw Cheesy Poof's uh, rack and pinion option that they had. We really liked it, so we explored it. We went with it. And so we'll send it out. So feeds the cube in, and then this belt indexer and then indexes it straight to the claw. So the claw takes it and goes off and scores. How reliable has it been using two different systems? Have you guys had any issues, any jamming, stuff like that? Um, so when we first made this, we did have issues of jamming. Can you send it out? And, uh, then we did have issues of jamming right, right here. However, we uh, found this flexible fabric that we used, and it really directs the uh, uh, cube into the claw. And then we also had trouble with the cables out here, so we took the flexible uh, material and made a cable track out of it. That's really impressive and love the dual intake mechanism and been working out with y'all for so good. Now let's hand it off back to Jack and talk to me about your elevator. Uh, seems like to be at an angle. T tell me about it. Um, so we decided to go at an angle this year because we found that it was going to be really hard for us to extend upward and out those four feet. Um, so we decided to go at an angle this year. We actually have a single stage elevator. Um, as you're going to see here, we have position sets. So we have our stowed position right here. And then we go out to our uh, mid. This is our mid position. We use this when we're trying to place the mid cones and picking up from the load station or the shelf. Uh, and then we go up to our high position, which is where we can place the high cones and cubes. And then we also have our hybrid position where we can put some place cones and cubes down in the hybrid position and also get ready to pick up a cone. It also seems like you guys are having the passive wheels, so making sure the, the cone is always facing down. Yes, we uh, pick the cone up by the flange, which allows for us to have it oriented the right way when we pick it up. All right, now let's give it to you, Josh. Talk to me about a bit more about your claw as well and your arm that you have. Okay, so our claw all starts up here at this Neo motor with a 100 to 1 gear ratio. And pretty much this is what drives the arm. Yeah, well, you want to disable? Yeah, okay, I should do that. And so it drives the arm back and forth like this. And then out of there, it comes down into this bag motor, which has a beveled gear, which turns all these blue gears in here. And that's what makes the claw open and close. Okay. And then we also have two different modes for, for grabbing cones or cubes and that's set by this indicator light so it'll close with more power or less power depending on whether it's a cone or a cube. 
So uh, we've seen teams have a similar type of mechanism, especially with the passive wheels, but they use pneumatics. What made you all strive away from pneumatics? Um, so we really contemplated using either one at the start of the season, but we figured it would be more simple design. I mean, it's, very, it's a very basic design, but it works very effectively. We figured it'd be simpler to design around uh, with the motor, and it's also more reliable, and it's just easier for us to use. Also, we originally had pneumatics on our robot with our old pickup, and whenever we got rid of them, it was pretty much like, put the nail in the coffin, we're not gonna use pneumatics on this, especially having no other pneumatics. So that just saved y'all some weight by removing it as well? Yeah, well, there's not nearly as much stuff to plumb up to up here. Right. Well, 4143, thank you so much for taking the time to walk us through your robot. On a six winning streak here at Newland Division, still trying to keep it together, and you guys are doing really well, really impressive robot, and really happy that you guys were able to walk us through your robot today. So thank you for that, and good luck to you guys. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University has over 25 pre-college camps and learning experiences available from computer science and engineering to inspiring future women engineers, leadership development, and first base camps for first graders to graduating high school seniors. Magna and GM sponsor camp fee scholarships are available. Email ctaylor at kettering.edu for more information. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.